All right, today's Kittle question is how do I duplicate objects and text and even artboards in Kittle? And I totally get it. It can be kind of confusing sometimes to figure out how exactly you can duplicate or copy and paste something. So we're going to go over three different ways to do that and three different things that you can obviously duplicate. So let's dive into Kittle. So right here we have this amazing illustration of a bear. We can see that it's vector here. So right now we've got the tan and the brown going on. But maybe I want to see what this would look look like in different colors, well, obviously you'd want to duplicate that. Now, the first and preferred way that I like to use is duplicating via the key command, which is holding the Alt or the Option key, depending on what kind of computer or what kind of keyboard you have. My keyboard has Alt and Option together on the same key. So if I hold down that key and I drag my mouse, so I clicked and drag, now I have two of these things together, two of these illustrations or objects, could be flowers, could be whatever it is that you grab from over in this panel. For example, same thing with a basic shape. If I hold the Alt or the Option key, click and drag, boom, now I can duplicate this, and you can do this as many times as you want, continuing to duplicate this and however however much you want. So I'm going to get rid of all of these because a very important strength of duplicating is to see this in various colors. Maybe you want to see it in kind of a dark blue, so you can do that easily like that. Maybe you are trying to figure out, uh, I don't know, what kind of color you want for like a podcast or a gamer tag or whatever you might be using this for. You want to see what it looks like in a green. Maybe you want to see what it looks like in a, uh, a more like kind of orangish or a reddish tint. Uh, duplicating is great for this. Now, if I, if I get rid of all of these and we just have our main illustration, that's the first way, holding the Alter Option key and dragging. But I can also use another shortcut command, which is the Command C and Command V, or Control C and Control V. So I'm going to hit Command and C. So now I've done that with my keyboard. I've hit Command C. Now I'm going to hit Command or Control V. And you can see down here, Object Pasted. So now I can do the same thing. And since it's already been copied, I can actually just he hit, keep hitting Command V over and over again to get as many illustrations as I want. So I only have to copy it the one time to get iterations. So that's the second way. Now the third way is actually just using the right click shortcut panel. And if I right click on this, you can see this panel comes up. I can hit copy, then I can right click again and hit paste. And now what that's gonna do is actually paste it in front. So now I actually have this image right here of the previous object. Instead of having to grab both of these and align them together like this, you can easily just right click, copy, right click, paste, and that is going to be pasted in front. So you can still get different versions by using any three of those methods to duplicate, holding the Alter Option key and dragging, using Command C and Command V or Control C and Control V or right click, copy and paste. Now this also applies to text. So we've talked about it on an object here, how to duplicate objects. I'll scroll down to this beautiful piece of text we have right here, and the same thing applies. And maybe I want to see this perhaps in a different color. Maybe I want to see it with different effects or without hatched lines. I'm going to use my preferred method, which is holding the Alter Option key and dragging. And so uh, now I have a second version of this, which I can play with my colors. Perhaps I want to see this more on the red side, so I can kind of flip all of these over into uh, the red category or the reddish orange category like this. Uh, maybe I don't particularly care for the lines here, so I'm going to take those lines off. Maybe I don't care for this blue. I'm going to make this more of a yellow. And now I can see different iterations of my text by duplicating it. Now, of course, you can use the other methods I described, like Command C and Command V, like that. Or I can right click, copy, right click, and paste, which is going to paste it there in front perfectly. So, of course, I can still see it by moving it this way. And just a quick, another quick tip and reason for why I particularly like the holding Alter Option key and dragging is because if I have this selected, I hold the Alter Option key and I drag, when I hold Shift, it will lock me in position so I can't actually move my cursor left and right. You can see my little cursor dancing left and right there. But because I'm holding the shift key, it's perfectly in line. Now, if I let go of shift, I can go wherever I want. If I hold shift again, it's going to bring me perfectly back to this 
direction, vertically aligned. So this is really helpful for duplicating things and keeping them in line. Same thing if I was going to go to the left or right, for example. If I hold the option, Alt or Option key and drag and hold Shift, it's only going to let me move left and right. You can see my little cursor dancing up and down. It won't go. It will only go this way until I let go of the Shift key. Now I can move it all around. So that is... When I say preferred method, that is actually why I like using the Alter Option key and dragging. But not only can you duplicate objects and images and illustration and text, you can also duplicate artboards. So as you can see here, I already have two artboards right here. And again, the way that I did that was by selecting the text right here, holding the Alter Option key and dragging. Again, holding Shift, which will keep it aligned. It won't let me go anywhere else because I'm holding shift. And if I let go of shift, then I can move it all around. If I hold shift again, it will keep it locked. And this is specifically good for when you are making something like a digital product or an ebook or a planner or something like that. You need all your pages kind of in a row for you to see. That's why I use this preferred method of holding alt or option key and dragging. But you can also hit the command C, command V. And what that'll do is paste it in the middle of your artboard, similar to the behavior that it does when you uh, copy and paste an image in the middle. It just shows up in the middle of your artboard. But of course, you can still use this method uh, any way that you like. You just have to make sure that you have the text selected so that you can easily grab it and move it around as well as get to all of your settings and effects over here on the right side menu. So that is how you duplicate or copy and paste different objects. Of course, I just used one illustration of a bear, but it will literally apply to anything, whether that's an image that you grab from the image category, something you upload yourself, anything that you upload as a PNG or a JPEG or any vector illustration, every everything, text included, you can duplicate everything in that matter all the way down to the artboards or specific layers or whatever you want. Let me know down in the comments what other questions or tips you want to learn in Kittle to make you a lot faster? Do you want to know specific shortcuts? Do you want to know different techniques on specific designs? Do you want to know a little more logistical things on how to organize and structure stuff? Let me know down in the comments so I can make those videos for you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Kittle if you haven't already, and we will see you in the next video.